The third day of his trial has seen Anders Bering Breivik's sanity challenged by the courts. Having heard his opening statements on Tuesday, the defence brought in sociologist and Oslo University professor Thomas Hyland Eriksson to comment on whether the killer is truly able to be held responsible for his actions. Which is, of course, is a difficult question. Uh, what I can say is that his worldview, or at any rate large parts of his worldview, are wide, fairly widely shared. Not as it were by a majority of the population anywhere in Europe, but by substantial groups who feel that globalisation is not going their way, that the country is being invaded by foreign, alien, enemy, Muslims, that Muslims can never be good Democrats, and that we are being ruled by spineless multiculturalists who don't see the dangers of Islam, and who even may be complicit in their plans to take over Europe. And I've been of two minds myself, but I have reached a conclusion that it's a good thing to give him this platform because he, he doesn't appear credible. He, he's not very charismatic, you know. He, he doesn't have that kind of uh, um, je ne sais quoi, you know. He doesn't have the, uh, the appeal uh, that, would, uh, that, that would actually attract people. So I think he works more like a repellent, you know, a mosquito repellent against right-wing extremism because people who see him realise how bad it could get if they are attracted to these crazy notions of, of, of purity and cleansing.